Okay, so in this segment of Broken Floppy, I'm going to show you how to crack passwords with a new tool called OPH Crack. And I'm going to be making some accounts with supposedly difficult passwords for him to crack. And then I'm going to read the passwords off to him after I crack him, see how it all went. Basically, yeah, so that's this, it. This is it. Password cracking 101. Oh, 101. Okay. So here's Evo making the passwords in the accounts. Okay. Right now we're making the first account. And here comes Cypress. Going to crack all the passwords. So you think your PC is safe just because you have your passwords, but with this here CD and with you not in the room, hackers can do bad things. All we need is a bootable Linux CD. So this is the OPH Crack Clive CD that we're going to use to crack the passwords. So you can see it automatically starts a terminal which is then going to start the program. See, this is the user interface right here. It shows you all of the usernames. And it already seems to have cracked the passwords. It's not very good, but... It cracked the passwords in less than 40 uh, seconds, or however many seconds. Okay, so as you can see, the, pass the password cracker works very well with simple passwords. Now, it's time to test it out on a different machine, just so that you guys see that it works, with a different, harder password. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so right now I'm going to show you how to turn off the LM caches because it never hurts to be more secure. Here we go. Alright, check it. We're just putting up with the Allen caches on with the really hardcore, hard to guess, hard to crack, hard to remember password. It's not easy listing all this adjective, dude. Not easy. So here we go again. The command prompt. To user, user interface loading up and shit. Very graphic. This is a graphic user interface, also known as a GUI graphical user interface. Here it is. Oh yeah, I also deleted the .NET account just because I thought that was giving me problems. We already have one of the passwords cracked, but it just says broken floppy. And it's not really a password, so. Okay, so even with the LM hashes on. 
after 841 seconds in three tables, OPH crack was not able to crack the password. Which is pretty damn cool because that means I actually thought of a secure password. Okay, so one of the tools that we did, were not able to use for the show, but is password related, is CHNTPW. This is a really good program because it does not crack the password. Instead, it just inserts inserts a new hash into the same file, which is where Windows keeps your passwords in an encrypted format. The pros of that is that it's really fast and easy to use and you just select a new password and that's it. The bad part is that if the person had any files encrypted with the Windows encryption tool that comes with Windows XP Pro, I don't know about Home, but it comes with Pro, you would not be able to read their files. A good practice if you want to keep yourself secure from that is to change your password very often, every two weeks or so. And remember, do not use one word passwords. Use letters, numbers, and special characters. Because with our tests with OPH crack, special characters make special passwords. The two again is called CHNTPW. That's Today you can actually install a program while running the password cracker. Ain't that cool. Now in, under normal circumstances, you would see a menu up here and a menu down here. But my monitor is uber late and it doesn't show it. So I just go and click up there <laughs> and it's going to show. Then you want to select System Tools. You can see an Add <coughs> Remove Program. Click it with your left mouse button. You get this nice utility over here. You can select which program you want to install. We want to install Firefox. So you click on the internet. We go down. Oh, there's Firefox. We go down there. We check the box. And then there's the play button. You click it. And it does magic. Yes, it does. Alright, so in conclusion, OPH Crack is a good program for cracking standard passwords that contain letters and numbers only. We want to crack my password, which uh, uh, the password was. It's going to show up right here. It's going to show up right here. It was, in, however, able to crack his password. All the one words, like cyber and vision. Five, five others. You know? But it's super really good because a lot of people think that just because they have a password they're secure. When in fact they're not. In fact most people make their passwords just one, a one word. You know what, what the three most used, most used passwords were? What? God, love, and there was another. sex. Yeah. No. God, love, and sex. So please, for the love of God, <laughs> do not use that as your password because it's going to be cracked with OPH crack really fucking fast. So this has been our segment on password, cra password cracking with OPH. I would rate it at about 4.5 stars, but it's still in out version... Out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I know. <laughs> 4.5 out of 5. But the cool thing is that it's still in beta. It's only version 0.9a, I think, for the live CD. So you, they should keep doing it. It's pretty good. So this is it. Peace. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna... Dude. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Those two people that live and work in this... Shut up! <laughs> Go to the back. Make it funny. Yeah, well, it's not a come. Well, maybe. <laughs> Shit, I'm talking and I'm recording. <laughs> but it's almost at 69%.
<laughs> and seventy-eight's coming up, Ooh. and then we have eighty-nine. Then we have sixty-nine again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll coming for your live Cyprus story. Well, it's not really live. It's fucking live if I say <laughs> it is, and I shut the hell up and answer questions. Oh, take two. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is like... Oh. Fucking right, man. Uh.